Welcome to Decaney High School and the final regular season game in the ladies basketball for District 13 5A. The Decaney Lady Wildcats need a win to capture a share of the district title for the fourth straight year. But the Klein Forest Lady Golden Eagles will have something to say about that as they revisit their district rivalry. The playoff bound Lady Eagles are in good form and have something to prove to avenge a 69-50 loss just a month ago. On a night they began honoring the seniors who have contributed so much to the program, the team settled into a fierce battle that didn't end until the final buzzer. The Lady Eagles quickly learned the officials would let them play, and they stripped the ball from Lauren Grigsby. Then on the other end, Jelia Preston and Jade Lott collide before Regina Scott gets the bucket. But then Jalen Richard Harris set the screen to give Lauren Grigsby room, and she knocks down a three to take a 3-2 lead. Here, Richard Harris gets open on the wing, and she wastes no time taking the open shot and bangs it home for another three. Then Kayla Nevitt scores quickly on an inbound pass, only to have the Eagles answer right away as Ikaya Gray uses some fancy ball handling to feed Ebony Parker, who cans a 12-footer. With the 12-6 lead heading into the second period, it appeared the Wildcats might walk away when Richard Harris drives to get this scoop shot to fall. But then the Eagles got more aggressive on offense, as Preston gets the offensive boards and makes a slick feed to Scott underneath to pull with him four. Abby White answered that with a three from the wing, off the glass for a seven point lead. Then White drew the D to the baseline, where she rifled a pass to Grigsby, who gave the Lady Wildcats their biggest lead at 19 to 10. But then the Eagles took flight with an 11 run lead, sparked by Akaya Gray hitting this three from the corner. Then Jelia Preston takes it inside and hits the jumper in the paint for her first two in the night. Here, Ebony Parker gets open on the wing and hits the bottom of the net for a three. And the Lady Golden Eagles head to the locker room with a one-point lead over their rivals. In the second half, the Eagles maintain their momentum advantage early with a 9-2 run as Preston drives the baseline for two of her nine points. During that run, the lone Wildcat bucket came off another inbound pass to Nevitt in the paint. Then the Eagles' Gray gets a tricky pass to Regina Scott underneath, and she says thanks, banking in two more of her eight points. And then it was Gray's turn as Destiny Vincent breaks the press, and Gray's alone on the wing and knocks down the tray. When Preston worked into the paint for another J, the Eagles had their biggest lead at seven. The Lady Wildcats found themselves in unfamiliar territory, behind in the third period. The Wildcats' only other field goal in the period came as Grigsby hit this jumper, and she took scoring honors with 15 on the night. But the Lady Eagles had a lot more to be excited about with a five-point lead and just eight minutes to play but champions are hard to keep down for long, as Richard Harris closes the gap with a running jumper. Then, Richard Harris gets a steal. And here Grigsby feeds Nevitt, and it's a one-point game. The Lady Eagles couldn't score again until Preston gets an assist from Gray in the corner and drains a three-pointer to regain the lead at 37-36. A pair of clutch free throws by Grigsby was followed by this nifty move underneath by Nevitt. And the Lady Wildcats were up by three with just seconds to go. The Eagles then look to reliable Ebony Parker and she drives the paint, cutting the lead to one. Then the Wildcats spread the D, opening the lane for Grigsby and she took the opportunity and takes it to the hoop for a three point lead. And finally, it was Grigsby pressuring the ball, preventing Parker from setting up, and the Wildcats escape with a hard-fought victory. 
And with that, the Wildcats celebrate their fourth consecutive District 13 5A championship. Um, you know, they're a good team. It's, it's, a, it's a good rivalry. You know, for several years, these kids play against each other and with each other all summer long, and it's a good, healthy rivalry. You know, I think they're friends and all, but um, I, I knew they would bring it because, you know, they've got something to prove also. So couldn't we couldn't score we've been scoring really well we just struggled it was like there was a lid on the basket or something I don't I don't know what happened the second half you know but hit some big shots down the end had some big free throws you know we weren't hitting free throws earlier either and I think kind of down the stretch we hit some big ones that helped us out they were just hustling they were out hustling us in this game we came in with a little bit of confidence because we blew them out last time so we just have to like go at halftime, get together, come back out and play harder. I think it's going to give us some confidence going down into the next game. Just because it was such a close game, but we came out with the win. But it was a good test for us.